Hi everyone out there on the internet, this is David from DP Computing. Today I'm just going to show you a basic teardown of a DL380G5. That's a HP DL380G5. Um, some of these systems have a slightly different configuration, so once we open it up, yours may look slightly different, but don't be too worried as they're mainly all the same, it's things in the same spot and so forth. Now before we start, just couple of warnings, do follow these steps at your own risk and please take static precautions and it may also void your warranty. Now the first thing we need to do is get a flathead screwdriver and just here um, on yours you'll be able to see there's a lock and unlock of a little screw there so just twist it to, so it's into the unlock position then once it's in the unlock you can pull that up and then pull the actual case itself off. Now before I just show you the internals of it, um, just there you can see um, on the underside of the lid it should give you some brief rundown of where bits and pieces are so if you're a bit confused you can also refer back to the, these sort of guides there. Now as you can see a lot of it's covered and you can't see too much but at the front here We've got the hard drive bays, we've got some fans, a cover here, uh, RAID battery, some more fans, power supplies out the back, and RAID controller there. I'll just start with the power supplies here. They're hot swap removable, and you'll see a little maroon, I suppose, little tab. Just push that in and grab the handle, and you can actually pull them out, as you can see there. Just pull it out and they're just connected via a little connector out the back so it's easy just to pull out and also to plug back in it's just reverse of what you've done and just make sure if you look down here you can actually see the actual connector just make sure that's back in fully when you push, push it back in now what we want to do is get to remove this black sort of panel around here uh, to do that we just have to remove first the RAID battery, yours may have two in, one there and one there, this one's only got the one, they can very easily just pull out and they've got a little connector, so if you just pull that connector out, put the battery to the side, and also just be wary of these cables here, but once that's removed you should be able to just pull that up, and there we go, we can see a bit more. Um, here we've got the um, CPU, so what we can do is just pull this up and we can see the two, this one's got two dual CPUs under there. Um, here we've got hot swap fans, again we can remove each fan individually. You've got a little maroon tab, just push that in and hold it at the other side and they pull out. Same way we can push them back in again, make sure they clip. With this unit here, we can also remove the whole bay. So we can remove them all at once, or you can remove them each individually. Um, we've also got a couple more fans here, and again, it's the same. You can pull, pull the marine tab and just lift it out, and then plug it back in again. Here we've got the memory. Um, again, it's fairly simple to remove. Just push the two um, cream or white colored tabs outwards and as you saw there the memory just pops out to get it back in just reverse it just push it back in and the tabs as you heard then will pop back into place um, we've also got the RAID controller card here to remove that there's a little blue tab along the side here just lift that up and then you can pull the tab out or pull the card out I should say um, also if you want to remove the cables for the controller here there's two little yellow um, things on either side. You may not be able to see them on this downward view, but just push in and then you can um, pull, the, pull the actual cables out. The same at the other end, just push the two yellow tabs in. I'll just show you. You can see the yellow tab there and one on either side. Just push them in and pull and they pull out. And reverse to push it back in. Um, that's just a ge very general, I suppose, teardown of this machine. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them below and remember, take static precautions and be very careful and to get it all back, just reverse what we've done. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.